Hey YouTubers, Mike Borges with the Mike Borges channel. Today behind us we are working on a 2003 Sea-Doo jet ski and a lot of people wonder does a jet ski have a charging system? To answer that, yes it does. However, don't confuse that with the charging system that's on your automobile or vehicle, the car that you drive on a daily basis. As you know that has an alternator and that alternator charges the battery. And as far as the jet ski, it's just a little different. It has what's called a stator. The cover is now off, and to access the actual battery and engine compartment with this jet ski, again, 2003 Sea-Doo GTX, we are going to remove the seats. And it is very convenient. Just a little clip here. You can remove this back seat as well as the front. Rear seat is now removed, and again, under here, same as the rear seat, that little tab there you remove this. To continue with that question that we we're talking about, does a jet ski have a charging system? Again, yes, but it is very different from your automobiles. And again, it has a stator. So let's talk about your car, for example. It has an alternator that while your engine is running, it charges the battery. And once your alternator fails, the battery no longer has that charging assistance from the alternator. Hence, the battery will die over time and your engine will turn off. Now, as far as your jet ski, again, instead of an alternator, it has a stator. A stator operates slightly different. Instead of fully charging your battery, it just maintains a charge. So the question might be, while riding around for an hour or so on the jet ski, is that going to charge the battery? It will add a little bit of charge, but it will not fully charge the battery. Say for example you get out to the jet ski, take the cover off, go to start it, unfortunately it will not even click, it won't even turn over, and you find out that your battery is dead. Whatever you do, do not go grab your car. I repeat, do not go grab your car to jump this battery. You might overload the system and fry the electrical system. At that point you're faced with far more issues than in the beginning. So you hook it up to a trickle charge, maybe five to ten minutes, get the engine running, and then you take the jet ski out and drive it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Again, with the stator, it will add a slight charge. However, not perform to the level that an alternator in your car performs by charging the entire battery. So when you get back to the dock or shore, don't be surprised if you can't get the engine to start after you shut it down. It's possible that something in the electrical system is draining your battery or your battery needs to be replaced. So I hope this helps. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your YouTube notifications. By that, every video we upload, you will be notified. You'll be able to stay in tune with us. Thanks for watching.